Hey everybody, welcome back. This video is going to be about OBS Studio. Now, the latest version for Windows is 20.1.3, and I've been noticing that there's some issues and bugs and other odd things about it that I kind of wish would be fixed. So I decided that since it's open source and you can build it, I go ahead and set up my computer for the build environment, which took way too long. I mean, way, way, way too long. And this is not something that I would recommend anyone get into unless you uh, have no hair, in which case you can't pull it out. Yeah, it's one of those. So after much fighting today at work, I did finally get this where it can be installed. And I built current commit up to right here. So as of yesterday. And we'll check real quick, make sure nothing else has come in. No, they have not. So, in a combination of CMake, Visual Studio, Qt plugin, and some other things, I did finally get this built up. And it took, it took probably 98% of the time to set it up, and only a few minutes to build it. Yeah, it's one of those things. So... We're going to go through real quick, and I will show you here that under OBS Studio, this is the originally installed version, is 20.1.3. And you'll notice, I want, to take, I want you to look here at the mixer, and you notice how the lines are solid. There's no real detail to them. Yeah, that's this piece. So, what we're going to do now is we're going to go through and look at the new version which should still be 20.1.3, but it'll have a tag on the end with the current commit so that you know where in commit history it was built. So we'll clobber that, and we'll come over here to desktop, OBS Studio, and we are under build, run directory, debug, bin, 64, it's all the way down here, okay? Now, I've already made one right here, and everything, actually, all three of these folders are what gets outputted. I simply created a shortcut to point to bin 64 OBS 64 EXE, just to make this easier. See, it's literally one click, and it runs what's in here. Now, it does import your scene settings from your official install as well. Now I'm assuming if you don't have one it'll make you know it'll store the scene somewhere but if you already have the official one installed this will use the scenes from that. So let's go ahead and run this. Okay you'll notice right off the bat the mixer has changed quite a bit. Um, there are of course, more ish, more uh, things. There are probably some menu changes up in here. But uh, we're now at 20.1.3173, and then right here, 9B9D is what I use. I just use those four to check for the uh, commit entry. So I said, oops, let's go back here. And I will move this down. And actually, I'll bring it right here on top of that. So... 9B, 9D, 9B, 9D, 57A. There you are. So that is that point at which it's built. I have not actually had a chance to go through and test it completely yet. Um, I'll have to do that after work. I have enough things that I have to do here. But um, what I did do, and I will put a link in the description below for you guys, is I, I zipped all of this up into a zip file basically about 40 megabytes, and it will be hosted on my server, and you can download this for 64-bit Windows, and everything should be good to go. Now, of course, being as it's not official, you have to understand that there's a possibility that things will be broken. Uh, as things get fixed in here, as they find stuff, they've already got a backlog of pull requests, and actually 20 isn't bad at all. Seems we just got another one here uh, since I did my first revision of this video. Change string for memory capture option. Uh, 
but yeah, they're, I mean, they're on top of it, but they're wanting to do more changes before it becomes uh, an official thing that they compile and post up to the website. But I'm saving you guys the headache by doing these builds myself. Um, I will update every so often. I might make a new video for each one. I might not. I'm not sure how I'm going to do that. I may or may not add entries onto my web onto my website to download OBS Studio. We'll see. I actually need to update a lot of my website as it is. So, with that, I will leave you guys links to the uh, right here to the zip file. In fact, let me go ahead and do. Uh, okay, well. Give me just a second, guys. We will have this done in no time. Okay. Do do do. That's fine. I'll just show you guys I'm doing this real quick, and we're gonna put it under my name desktop OBS custom and. All right, we are uploading. So with that, I will let you guys go. As soon as this is done, I'll wrap up the video, throw a link in the description, and you guys can have at it and have an updated OBS Studio to work with. So hope you guys like it. Like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in another video. And you know what? I was kind of hoping that this would finish uploading and the timing would be right, but no dice. Okay, now we're done. Now I'll see you guys in another video. Thanks for watching.